One of the things that is um, problematic about the debate is that it focuses so much on the status of the embryo and the rights of the embryo and so little on the needs of the patients and so little on the access to the treatments and the justice question and who pays and who uh, benefits. And then, of course, uh, there are questions that, that have to do with commercialization and, in, and intellectual property rights, patentability of stem cells and stem cell lines. So there's a variety of issues that need to be discussed and need to be discussed early, I think. When I look at the legislation in Europe, for example, there are some countries which forbid embryonic stem cell research, but um, they allow abortion and they allow contraceptive pills, for example. And uh, I think that ethics should strive to be consistent. Well, in Italy, abortion is allowed. So it is not clear, I mean, why, I mean, there should be uh, so much emphasis uh, no, on uh, embryonic stem cells. We do not understand exactly, I mean, why, I mean, the law should be so restrictive. This is creating, anyway, a sort of uh, uh, public uh, fear, even within the scientific community, to the point that uh, there are very few groups in Italy that are working on uh, human embryonic stem cells. To my knowledge, uh, there are only three groups. Although there are groups that I know are working, well, let's say, in, on, on embryonic stem cells, but in a more hidden way. They don't want to say that openly and publicly. And uh, I think uh, this is a big damage that one could do to science, no? to, because in this way, science is not open, it's not free. I mean, uh, and uh, definitely this is influencing uh, the development of science and also the perception of science. The countries which have a restrictive point of view towards embryonic stem cell research, how will they react if and when the countries which have a permissive uh, legislation will finally uh, find the possible treatments for the patients. They should not be able to forbid their patients from using those therapies because the patients should have the freedom to choose where they want to be treated and what kind of treatment they want to receive.